Hey everyone, hope you're doing okay. Um, so this is Ollie Hayes and I'm going to do one final video in this sequence on hair transplant start to finish. Uh, I've had a couple of messages and a couple of comments saying, you're two years on now, let's see the end product. So this really is the end product of my hair transplant. I had two done. Uh, the first was to uh, do the front here and the hairline here. Now if this, if I hadn't got that done, my hairline is like back there and back here it was dreadful. So I'm really, really happy with the front. It's looking strong. Bit of a lockdown haircut. UK's in uh, coronavirus lockdown at the moment. And uh, where are we? It's uh, 2nd of February 2021 today. And here's the top, um, which as you'll remember, what, can you see that, Lil? Can you see the top of my head? Yeah. Yes. Got my assistant Lily here today. That was really round, bold patch. Hair's like never going to grow back there at all in my life. Hi. And I'm just so happy with the crown and the way it settled there. Um, so they, uh, so that it's worked really well. They've really held well, and the donor area is good. Um, at the back there. Now with the donor area, if I if if I get it cut too short, like a grade two, something like that, I can tell when I look in the mirror, I can see, oh, I can see there's some marks there or a bit patchy on this side there. No one else seems to. When I point it out to them, no one else can see it at all, but I can. So I tend to stick to uh, minimum a grade three. I don't have my hair that short anyway around the sides and the back and it's completely fine. So I'm having a uh, finasteride one pill a day. I have noticed no side effects at all. Um, the side effects that you'll be aware of, probably if you've researched it, is it's meant to affect your libido, um, so your sex drive. So I never really had that, but every time I took one, I used to tell myself that it was increasing my libido. So I'd pop a finasteride in the morning and you'd go, wow, I'm gonna be horny today. Uh, I don't know if that affected anything or not, but I've never had any um, change in my uh, my drives at all. Um, and that's it. So yeah, I love it. Uh, once again, I would just say, don't do what I do. Uh, don't do what I did, which is wait seven or eight years thinking about it. Uh, if you wanna get your hair done, get it done. It's an expensive purchase, but come on, these days there are ways to finance things like that. And honestly, it's uh, it's just such a big personal thing in your life. And now, no one, can, even my friends, no one can remember that I used to be uh, a, a massive baldy uh, until I show them the before and after pics, which I love doing. I love showing people the before and after pics and they go, oh, wow, what a fantastic job they've done on your hair and you must be really happy, which I am. So that's it. So thanks a lot. This is the last video from the hair transplant start to finish sequence. By the way, uh, stick around on this channel though. Stay subscribed because we've got some more very interesting things coming up, haven't we, Lily Harper? Yeah. We have. <laughs>